All right. Uh, hi, everyone. Thanks for coming. Welcome to the Angular Seattle March meetup. Um, I'm sorry that our previous meetup was just a week ago, um, but we had a special guest in town. We just want to make sure uh, that we have something going on. So thanks for making it on such short notice. Uh, so just a reminder, our mission uh, for Angular Seattle is to grow the community of Angular developers in Seattle. Uh, we want to encourage new speakers to come up and share their, their knowledge with everyone. And we want to run sustainably, um, meaning managed by a group of volunteers. We don't have like a single point of failure. Uh, so we encourage involvement if you want to come help out. If you want to host a meetup, uh, let us know. The next meetup will be in April. It'll be the week before NGCOM. Um, it'll be on uh, April 11th, hosted by Jens of McGraw Hill. And we're going to be having speakers on NGRX complex forms. Uh, Sean, Lark well, Sean Larkin will be there uh, talking about Webpack. And uh, Craig and I will be doing our NGCOP talk on uh, protractor versus unit testing. And it's, it's sort of Star Wars themed, so it's like the dark side versus the light side. It's, it's going to be very copyright and <laughs> uh, Other made up meetups. <coughs> In May, uh, we're going to be up on the east side of Microsoft. Uh, we don't know June. Um, might be another east side one. And then July, we'll be at Google again. And it'll be the one year anniversary of doing this meetup. So, nice. Uh, these are our organizers. Uh, so, the way we work is the organizer is basically the producer for an event. Um, they don't have to have a venue, they just make sure that everything happens. Uh, so, they're responsible for finding speakers finding an event, getting, uh, getting food, like that kind of thing. Um, yeah. If you want to present, don't be a shy guy or a shy girl. How many people know what this character is? Okay, that's what I expected. Super Mario Brothers 2. Anyway, his name is Shy Guy. Uh, don't be shy. Feel free to come up and speak. Uh, the best way to learn about a topic you're curious about is to do a presentation on it. Um, you don't have to be polished, right? I'm not that polished right now, it's fine. This is just an informal meetup. Uh, so if you want to develop a new talk, or you know, if you just want to like do it, it's it's fine. Uh, very low pressure. Just come up here and do something. Um, ideally, talk should be about 20 minutes, but they can go anywhere from five to 30 minutes. So if you just want to do a five-minute lightning talk over something you just learned, uh, you know, let us know. Um, this is our meetup page, and if you look at the description, there's a link you can follow to fill out a submission form. So it's just like your contact information and what you want to talk about. Uh, so please, you know, if you're thinking about doing a talk, go to our meetup page, uh, hit the read more things so you see the entire description, and then hit the if you'd like to give a talk link. Uh, come chat with us. We have a Slack channel. It's where we coordinate these meetups, um, talk about other stuff. If you want to ask questions for local Angular developers in the area, it's a, it's a good resource. And there's the invite link uh, you can find in these slides. It's tiny.cc slash ng dash C dash slide. Stickers! Craig got us stickers. <laughs> so uh, come up and take some if you want some. We also have native script stickers and native script squishies, which will be awarded at DJ's discretion. <laughs> um, we also, uh, thanks to BlackRock and Mike Moreland, we have a Daydream View uh, that we're going to raffle off. So find this tweet. It's the most recent tweet from Angular Seattle and retweet it, and uh, we will do a, a thing that randomly picks someone to give it to. So look forward to that. Like this. Uh, volunteer project. So I've been talking about this um, a bit, uh, and it's, it's, it's going to start happening soon. Uh, so I met with Launch Learning. Uh, for those who don't know, Launch Learning is a local um, community day school uh, program. And, and so what they do is they offer after school and uh, sort of after school programs for kids and, and day school. So it's a, it's a charity um, they've been involved with for a while. And uh, they have this thing. They send all the families every year. So this is a sample of your enrollment packet. It's actually like 15 pages. And what they have people do is like fill out this giant form. Um, and then they go to their back office. And someone in their back office transcribes it into their system this incredibly laborious process. And the next year, they do it all over again. So even if it's the like third year your kid's been in here, you have to fill out this form. And you have to fill out their dentist, their doctor, if they have any allergies, um, any of that kind of stuff. So it's a lot of paperwork. 
and we've offered to do an Angular app for them. So they already have a back-end system that they like, um, that they're using called ProCare, uh, which is just a basic, you know, sort of C Sharp, .NET kind of WinForms app uh, with a SQL Server backend. Um, and ProCare is working on, like, an electronic version of this form for them, uh, but it's clear that it's not really going to be submission for the needs. It may not be much of an improvement over what they have. So there's a chance here for us to help out. Uh, if you're interested, the next step is we're going to make a prototype that we can bring to them to say, hey, this is what it can look like. Uh, let us know what you think. Uh, if you'd like to help, come find me. Um, you can also join us in Slack. We have a Slack channel for it and chat there. Uh, yeah. And won't we have like talks on it too? Yeah, and the idea is um, this will be like an experience that will 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 document and will turn into a learning experience. So as we come up with stuff, we'll have talks about how it went, um, what the development process was like, and what sort of challenges we ran into. Uh, okay, so something we do every meetup um, is anyone. Hiring, and is anyone looking for work? Is anyone hiring? And you would just want to do a shout out asking for any of the devs. Okay. Right. Google's always hiring. <laughs> Byproc? Byproc's Yeah, like well, we do have right now, we're going to have two open positions for Java web developers uh, entry level. So we can have somebody, smart guys, send emails to my company. Yeah, so come find these guys. Uh, and of course, Google is always hiring <coughs> Angular developers as well. It's, it's kind of why we do this, because we want a wider community um, in the Seattle area. All right, so the agenda. Uh, so the welcome, the hiring exchange. Uh, TJ Vantol from, Progr from Progress will be here. Uh, so, so Progress makes a, um, a cool thing, native script, uh, that lets you create native mobile apps using Angular. So instead of rendering to HTML, it actually renders to native widgets. And he's going to talk about how to build an augmented, augmented reality app. Um, and uh, after that, there'll be a short break. And then Stephen Floon from the Angular team will dial in and a lot of Q&A. So start thinking of questions you would want to ask an Angular core team member um, about the new renderer and GCOM and Angular v6 and all that. And that's it. All right, so without further ado, uh, TJ.